Everything looks good. All right, let's jump in it. I've definitely beaten this game before. I'm fairly familiar with it, so... Uh, it makes for a pretty good test game for this on stream. At least for Game Boy stuff. Get on down and get ready to rumble. At the end, it's a slaughter. Oh no. Uh, the most important thing you can do in this game, which you can't exactly do in, like, other Battletoads games, is jump attacks. They will just blaze you right through the stage. It's so good! It's good when it works anyway! Please die! But you can almost, like, you can almost juggle enemies with it. It's great. I love it. I do not speedrun this game, I swear. <laughs> I have... How much Battletoads Game Boy have I played? I know it's at least pre-fresh in my mind because we recently did the, uh... The Battletoads, uh, New Year's Race, and after I beat the game, I just, like, loaded up some other Battletoads games, and I know this is one of them. It was great, I beat, like... Four or five different Battletoads games. I'm trying to remember all the Toads games I beat. I think I beat NES Battletoads. I beat this. Um, I beat Battle Maniacs. I beat Battletoads Double Dragon. I think I beat Genesis Battletoads as well. I would need to go back and look at that VOD to see what exactly I did beat. Now it's the Need to Speed Toad. I can smell a rat. Rap with the rat rocket. Really stepping up their game. If level two is Volkmeyer's Inferno, oh no! It's Volkmeyer's Inferno, but I have a gun now. So it's because I, having played most of the Balatos games at this point, I would say this is one of the easier ones. Mostly because 90% of the time when you die, you'll just pick up right where you left off. Not in this case. Uh, I know this stage is actually checkpoint based. This part could be a problem if I'm not careful, because, uh... Yeah, these things are instant kill. Don't touch them. And they get fast. Not like bullshit fast, but still fast. Ah, fuck. I tried to dip down a little too soon. Yeah, now we gotta do all this again. The game does supply you with enough lives that you can reasonably beat the game, I'd say. Probably would take you an attempt or two on... if you haven't played it before, but... Eh. Balatoes, you know, that's pretty... pretty much expected. There we go. Now we're cooking. You never time that charge shot correctly, where you just immediately obliterate it. Right, what's next? Oh, flying rats. My worst nightmare. Ow. Ow. Please no. We out? We're out. Well, we're at the boss now, anyway. Which means it's time to mash! At least I have a decent controller for this, because that's the other nice thing about the analog. Uh, when it's docked, I can... Uh, I can... Pair... A bunch of, at least a few different kinds of controllers. I, I have a PS4 controller paired right now, and that's what I'm using. And it works great for this. I almost want to, like... Get, I think they add support for PS5 controllers. I almost want to get a PS5 controller just for using with the pocket. But if I really want to use a PS5 controller, I mean, I've got two of them, so I can just load one of them up. But this works just as well. 
All right, into stage three. Uh, don't dance with the Darkling. Oh no, not the Darkling. Are we gonna play some Dokapon Kingdom here? Also, as is uh, bound by law, bound by Balto's law, the music has to be pretty sweet. And despite this being Game Boy, uh, this is no exception. Fuck. I hate you, rat. <laughs> Take the rope across. I don't like that I've already taken two deaths here. Two deaths I could have avoided, but... I mean, I hope we'll be fine. I can think of one stage in particular I'm gonna be, uh, a bit worried on. But that's not till later on. Please hit with your fist! Also, punching tornadoes. Way more effective than you'd think it would be. Alright, see ya. <laughs> that was a good stage. And it's a Game Boy game. It, the game has to be, like, piss short. Like the joke with, like, the Game Gear and the Lynx, where the game has to be short enough that you can beat it without your battery dying. If the battery lasted at least a reasonable amount of time on the Game Boy, even if it did take four of them. But then again, I guess, I think Game Gear and Lynx both, fuck. I think they both took six. There we go, I wanted to do the dash. Right, well, I may be due to use a continue pretty soon. I want to be careful where I'm jumping. Ow. Alright. Time to ride the jet ski. I like how a lot of the, uh, stage themes in this one are, like, similar themes to the NES one, you know, like, this is Surf City, for example. Um, but the actual stage design is just completely different. Makes this actually feel like its own game instead of, you know, just a straight port like a lot of Game Boy games end up being just a port of the NES version. Or if you're trying to feel really spicy, the Super Nintendo. Looking at you, Donkey Kong Land. Donkey Kong Land is good, though. Should play the, that on the pocket at some point. That'd be fun. I haven't played Donkey Kong Land in so long, mostly because I just end up playing Donkey Kong Country instead. Ugh. Watch the tentacles. This is pretty easy to do. Okay, question is, how far am I gonna go on this life before I have to use my first continue? I'm going to guess stage six. We're on stage four now. I usually take a death in stage six because insta-kill hazards are fun. And I mean, stage five can go god-awfully if I'm not careful. I don't foresee myself having struggling too much with this stage for uh, the remainder of this. I think we're yep, we're at the boss. He's a chump. Just takes the hits like a champ, and he's gone. Okay, you're the biz, Toad. It's a race to be ace, or you'll end up as an empty space. I guess this is this game's equivalent of Klinger Winger? That's the best comparison I've got. Maybe like Terra Tubes with the wheels, but I always think of this as Klinger Winger because this is the entire stage, and that fuck up might end up costing me in the end. Let's hope not. 
chased by a giant boulder. <laughs> Gotta not get crushed, because you will instantly die. We're still doing good. Still doing good. Okay, now it's this way. I gotta just, like, be carefully paying attention to which direction is coming up. And we do have a metric for... Because there's still a boss uh, HP bar for, for the boulder. So we can use that as a metric for how far we are through the stage. Is it all kind of like looks the same? But if this meter is to be believed, we should be getting we should be closing in on the end. Yeah, that should be the home stretch. And there's the end. We're out. You're doing great. All right, now my worst nightmare. Also, big blag. Can't have a Battletoads game without big blag. Big blag's about. Welcome to the totally not wookie hole stage. Go for the spikes. They're not instant death, thankfully, but there is a fuckhead in the stage who is instant death. I'm sure we're gonna be running into him pretty soon, and I'm gonna be really sad. Not these stupid Saturn. Ah, no. Saturn Tomu traps. It's that fucker. That fucker. I hate him. He always gets me. Always burns me alive and makes me very sad. Okay. There's two. Alright. They bounce between the walls. Really, your best bet is to. Try and nail them while they're on the wall. And as expected, I did take a death here, but that's fine. Because it's boss time. Uh oh. Please don't die to, to blag me. He's like the most predictable boss in the world. Ah, fuck. I did actually die to the blag. Damn it. I should be ashamed of myself. Now I'm not gonna take another hit. Okay, I did take another hit. That makes me feel slightly better about myself. Okay. Still got a few continues in reserve. But I'm gonna die a lot in this stage, almost certainly. Exterminate the vermin. Alright, so I guess this is revolution? It's not inaccurate. Also, it's gonna be murder. I kinda don't care about all this. I'm just gonna try to get the rear and hope I don't lose too many lives in the process. I hate this stage. I like the music in this stage, but I hate the stage itself. It's actually like a pretty tough stage. Ah. Fuck. All right. Well, goodbye. I'm gonna use another continue. I'm pretty sure. Ah. Oh, yep.
All right, I think I have an Eric in, in reserve, though, so... That should be fine. But we're gonna die a lot to you. If I'm lucky, I'll only die once to you. Maybe even once. Nope, once. That's a-okay. Once is uh, a lot less than I would have expected. I just try to juggle them all the time and maybe I'll get lucky. I was the smell of blasters in the morning. They smell like victory. Or fumes. Alrighty, into the home stretch. A firefight with Robomanus. The other recurring Battletoads character. Ow! We're on a strict time limit. So I guess this is the rat race of this game. Uh, I'm comparing like every stage to like NES Battletoads. Like what what does this stage most remind me of? Like reverse rat race. I believe they call that intruder excluder, come to think of it. Uh Electricity. Cause I'm start I am starting to run out of time though. I think we're right at the end. Totally awesome. You're powered up and ready to rock. Zit zits. Big one oh me mega mondo. Alright. Hi Rebel Manus. We need a hammer. Gotta take out the hands, first of all. Or at least try to. Gonna just wait for a little bit. So the hand should be going down soon. Nope, I will be going down soon, it turns out. Okay, both hands are down. Now I just gotta beat the shit out. Robomass a bunch and wrap this up. I can just tank it at this point. I highly doubt I'm gonna get a full game over at this point, or even just another game over for that matter. Yep. Goodbye, Robomanus. And goodbye, Balato's Game Boy. And the totally awesome trio are reunited and ready for action once again. What is it? No one can beat you when you get going. Ah, don't bet on it, bird brain. I'll be back soon with a vengeance. In the next Balatos game I beat, whatever, whichever one that may be. I don't know what... What Balatos games have I not beaten yet? I'll figure that out some other time.